Earth meteorologist Michelle Kennedy. Of course, it's an impact day today, right. Michelle. And then also that tropical system officially formed and named. And that's right. We've got Tropical Storm Helene, and Helene is going to become a Category 1, then 2, and 3. And then we're talking severe weather here today. You can see the hour-by-hour hour forecast and showing you that we've got the cloud cover in place with temperatures in the 70s. So we haven't seen a whole lot of movement with temperatures because of the heavy cloud cover. It's pretty thick out there at this hour. It's muggy, too. We have not been able to lose that muggy weather. Even though we started fall officially on Sunday, it has felt more uncomfortable and a bit more summer-like. You've got the showers and thunderstorms too to go along with it. You've got the thunderstorms that are approaching with a front and an upper low. We also have this system bringing us a threat for severe weather. This is going to stretch all the way from areas of Lynchburg and Roanoke up in Virginia, south into the Triad all the way through Charlotte and down through Greenville, South Carolina tonight. So if you're traveling on Interstate 77 or 40, you want to make sure you're prepared for the possibility of running into storms. Right now things are quiet. We expect that up until about the dinner hour. So between five and six things get going. Mountains first might see a couple of showers, but five to six Seven. This is the, the area that we start to see things pick up from Galax through Sparta, North Wilkesboro, Mount Airy, and then it stretches east into the northern Piedmont between 7 and 8. Also touching off in Winston-Salem and Greensboro, by about 8, 9 o'clock, we could see some more of this activity, and that continues to pick up to the north and east out of our parts of uh, Virginia as we go into the border areas, North Carolina, Virginia border here from Martinsville through Danville. Another wave between midnight to 2 a.m. It doesn't mean everyone's going to see severe weather, but it does mean one or two have enough to produce the large hail of quarter size. 60 mile an hour winds could take down a couple of those small trees, especially since we've had a lot of rain on the ground. So if we have some soil conditions that might be a little bit unstable, could take down those trees more easily. We'll watch for wind concerns. All of this winds down likely before we wake up and before we get on the roads for school and work. Your temperatures tomorrow should be back into the low 80s. Little sunshine trying to peek in. Can't rule out a shower or two, but the rain chances are a bit more minimal until we get you into late evening in the mountains and western foothills where we do see a line try to ride up. And this is in advance of what is Helene. Helene will likely become a hurricane. We'll start to see some of those feeder bands lifting our way on Thursday, more noticeably Thursday night into Friday for everyone across the Carolinas. Friday looks to be the bigger impact day. That's when we're going to start to see those rain totals coming up more significantly. The heavy rain bands also moving in. You see for Thursday, though, the scattered showers starting to prime the area with some winds at this time, and then we'll expect to see heavy rain possibilities all across our mountains. Could be as much as eight inches up into the high country. We'll be looking at that. 70s for you today to near 80. We've got impacts going all the way through the evening hours, starting to wind down between 2 and 3 a.m. And then by early tomorrow morning, you still have a couple of showers on the ground. Hopefully, though, the roads are drying out for that morning commute. You can see two showers and thunderstorms getting going tonight, mainly right around the dinner hour. So still in the middle of that evening commute. Might be a little bit slick along the Blue Ridge Parkway. And also for the foothills, you've got similar conditions. Now we take a look at Helene. You can see this is becoming a hurricane toward the end of the week. As we go into Wednesday, it moves into the Gulf as a tropical storm. We're still moving into that area now, becoming a category one hurricane likely overnight tonight into your Wednesday evening. You can see the track here from Thursday into Friday, lifting it straight into Georgia, lifting it right up into the Carolinas. And unfortunately, all of that water rushing over the Appalachian Mountains. As it does so, we have that orographic lift, that opportunity to see much more moisture than would normally fall too because you've got the mountains there. So showers are going to be heaviest right in the mountains too. That's the pathway for that storm and it'll flood uh, some of the areas possibly too in the foothills and the mountains with so much rain coming down all at once as we talk about that flash flooding risk tonight and then we take a look at the rainfall totals. We know we're going to add some more to that later in the week. So time frame today does look to be late evening for our tropical imp or our impacts. Then tropical impacts start to really really build as we get you into late week. Thursday Thursday into Friday. You can see by 8 o'clock Friday, we've already had some 6 to 8 inches potentially right along these zones just south and west of the Piedmont Tribe. Piedmont Tribe, though, too, could see some 3 to 5 inches potentially from the system based on the current track. And again, that track is likely going to shift a little bit dependent on that front that's sitting to our west at this hour. So, Helene, that's the system we're on now and looking ahead over the next five days, seven days, excuse me. You've got showers, thunderstorms on Tuesday. Your impact is for the evening hours. Friday, most of the day, we may have to add an impact for Thursday as well based on the track and timing of Helene that we're watching closely for you.